happy last week of November, you guys. We only have a few days left. I hope if you do celebrate Thanksgiving, you guys had a great Thanksgiving last week. I set my camera down. I did have two recipe videos that I'm actually still working on. I didn't force myself to finish those up last week. We had family come in town Wednesday and they left Saturday. So this weekend we kind of just chilled ate on leftovers and did nothing. <laughs> so it is Monday when I'm filming this. I'm hoping you guys are seeing this today also. I, I'm hoping I can get into the office and edit this and post it maybe a little later than normal, but today. Um, but Rose had an orthodontist appointment early this morning, so that got both of us up, started our week back to school for everybody and all the things, normal chores, uh, vacation time is over for you know two to three weeks and then we've got Christmas vacation but anyway I got a lot of messages asking me to share or if I was going to share like a fridge pantry tour that kind of thing and I've done several in the past I I feel like I've got people who really like them and others who are like eh, because the videos always just do so so but I was like you know what after a holiday weekend I figured I would show you guys what I've got on hand I'm actually not going to the grocery store this week I'm going to oh I thought I pulled it out and I did it I'm gonna show you guys my meal plan as well for dinners um, breakfast and lunch we're just gonna kind of snack and work with what we've got on hand but anyway I'm gonna show you guys where we've got all of our like drinks and food stored around the house and share with you what we have on hand and what we're gonna be working with this week okay we're gonna start outside this is our drink fridge and if you follow me on Instagram you saw how packed it was that's our neighbor's dog dash <laughs> he's super friendly he wants to play with Buford anytime he sees him outside so this is what we've got left over after everything that I purchased oh I need to I didn't come out here and check anything <laughs> I need to fix the the juice but we've got some waters Gatorade juice minimal sodas so I'll probably have like an afternoon coffee this week because I know those aren't gonna last. I'm not the only one who drinks the soda. So those will go. Um, I do have plenty of sparkling water to get me through this week. And then I pick these up, but I am not a fan. I don't remember who I saw say that there, I think it was their husbands or something. Oh gosh, who was it? I don't remember, um, but somebody really liked these. So I was like, oh, that sounds interesting, like a cherry soda, but I'm not a fan. So I'll probably like see if anybody in the neighborhood wants them or let the kids try them or something like that. They are not, it's cheer wine if you guys don't know what this is, but we don't keep anything that's alcoholic out here. That's all other, other spots in the house. But anyway, this is what our um, backyard, what we call the drink fridge is looking like right now. All right, next up is our deep freeze in the garage. Pearl left some messages <laughs> right there. Sorry if you guys can hear my watch, but i um, got a group text with some family, so they're texting right now. Okay, I thought about organizing this, but I just, I'm not going to. <laughs> I will a little bit later. You can see the baskets in here. I've had it organized off and on. Right now, everything's just kind of thrown in here, so I'll probably miss some stuff. I don't want this video to be super long, but I've got various, let's see, I've got shrimp and fish and egg rolls. We've got hot dog buns, hamburger buns. We've got some onion rings, mozzarella sticks, french fries, meatballs. Um, this is luling sausage. And then we've got some s'mores. Let's see, up here we've got some various meats. Um, we've got different kinds of sausages, chicken. Um, what else? I think we have mini like sliders. We have some chicken just various meats, corn on the cob. Uh, we've got some frozen rice in here, some vegetables, okra. What else do we have in here without trying to make too big of a mess? Uh, this is some kind of meat. I wanna say quail. Mark got it from somebody at work. I don't remember what it is though. And then up here, it, up here is mainly breads. So I've got like mini non dippers. I've got pizza dough, Texas toast, um, pretzels, various pretzels. I've got some baguettes in here, different things. Here's some little dumplings. And then over here on the door, again, like no organization whatsoever, but we've got some turkey, ground turkey, more frozen rice, and just little one-off dishes, um, various things from Trader Joe's. We've got some zucchini and riced cauliflower. 
Um, I like to keep my pecans in here. I'm actually gonna end up using the rest of these and some banana muffins. Then we've got some cauliflower, a pepper and onion blend, corn kernels. We've got more shrimp, fried rice. This is actually some of this stuff probably like five or six things from in here are going this week because I already made the meal plan. Um, we've got some naan down here, chicken, just various things. And we've got a very curious kitty. This is Riley. Riley, what you doing? Huh? <laughs> All right, let me close this before she decides to get up in there. But yeah, just we definitely have plenty on hand, just like a hodgepodge. So you'll see when I show you guys the meal plan, I'm kind of just utilizing some stuff from the freezer and throwing meals together. So that is everything we've got out here. Hold on, I close the door slowly for little Miss Riley. All right, the rest of it is in the house. All right, coming into the laundry room, we do have a fridge in here. And yes, we have a lot of areas for drinks and food and stuff like that. We like to host, um, we like to be stocked up. So I know not everybody has as many areas as we do. Um, sometimes I'm like, yeah, this is overkill. But other times, like this past week when we had family in town, I was like, man, it's so nice to have these spaces to keep these items. So I go back and forth on downsizing or not. But I'm grateful to be able to have the places that we have um, to store foods. Okay, this is like my extra fridge. So anything that I specifically do not want the kids to mess with, like if I'm you know, filming a video for you guys or something, or it's an ingredient that I specifically want for a meal and whatnot or things that you know the kids just don't get into is in this fridge. So I've got various bouillons and garlic and stuff like that over here are like the extra condiments that we don't use that often or the kids don't really use. We do have some wine in this fridge and then like whipping cream half and half that kind of stuff that I like to have for recipes. Overflow on the eggs you guys will see in the kitchen fridge where the other eggs are. We've got, like I said, stuff for recipes. I'm gonna be making those today or tomorrow, so those are gonna be gone. And then just other things that I've picked up that we haven't used yet. These two meats are actually for dinner this week. I went ahead and pulled them out, out from the freezer outside so they could start to um, thaw out. And then we've got like various shredded cheeses. It's like our extra cheese drawer in here. And then these really sad looking lemons and limes. I bought two bags several weeks ago um, with the intention of having, having lemon lime water every single morning. And I've probably had it out of two weeks, maybe like five times, <laughs> maybe like half of the time. So I'm definitely not going through these as much as I thought I would need to be better on that. Um, but anyway, that's it for this fridge. And then the freezer in here is semi-organized. So this side is like the lunch stuff. So when the kids are like, hey, I'm hungry, um, or it's like fin for yourself, that kind of thing, this is the area that they come to. So in this drawer, we've got all the Uncrustables, Nutella, and then peanut butter and grape jelly. Um, in here, we've got some chicken nuggets, Hot Pockets, these little ham and Swiss, no, ham and cheese melts some mini cheeseburgers. And then up here is some tater tots and chicken strips. And Bryce will just like put a little bit of both on our little toaster oven and cook them for himself. Sometimes that's what he does. And then this side is like the sweets. So we've got our true fruit kind of all around. We've got one little ice cream here, the edible cookie dough that I picked up. And then in here is like popsicles and stuff. So not too much on the frozen treats um, going on in here. But that is it for the laundry room, refrigerator and freezer. So this is where we have our coffee station at. Um, we've got pods in here we've got hot chocolate we also have little drink mixes for the kids to just mix into a bottle of water and then we do have this mini fridge right here this is more for the adults we keep extra wine in here if we pick up beer we have beer in here and then right now we just have a bunch of our premier proteins i mean the kids could have these too i don't even know if they've ever tried them but um mainly just Mark and I drink those. It's pretty empty, what's down here? Oh, this is for Mark's favorite drink is ranch water. And uh, 
really over the summertime. Nice hot day. He likes to make himself a, a ranch water on the weekend. Um, so we've got these Topo Chicos for that. I was like, what is that doing in here? Um, so that's what that is for. Not too much on the overflow of the wine. These are actual flavor, like flavored syrups and stuff, not wine. Uh, and then we've just got two beers up there left over. But like I said, this is mainly just like the adults fridge that Mark and I go to for stuff. All right, here is our refrigerator that is in the kitchen. This one's semi-organized as well. And then we'll end with the pantry. So we'll start with the freezer first. This is basically breakfast. So the kids fend for themselves a lot on breakfast unless I'm, you know, making it. Normally I only make breakfast on the weekends. During the week, it's kind of just pick what you want kind of thing. Every now and then I'll do like eggs and bacon or hash browns or something like that. But mainly I cook a bigger breakfast on the weekend when all five of us are home to eat it. So we've got like a little smoothie section down here. Um, these are just various items. We've got some kolaches, roasted potatoes and onions we like to do with eggs. We've got hash browns, sausage links. I think there's some mini pancakes too. Yeah, some mini pancakes here and then this one is kind of like the microwavable and oven sandwiches and stuff so we've got all these little microwavable sandwiches these little jimmy dean pancake and sausage on a stick those are in the oven and then over here we've got some hash browns and some toaster strudels we've got sweet and savory toaster strudels but in uh, this this one gives me like 30 seconds and then dings at me. <laughs> but anyway, this is all breakfast stuff. And this freezer, and then in the fridge, we've got the condiments that are most used by kids and for dinner and stuff like that. So soy sauce, and then we've got mustard, mayo, ketchup, Chick-fil-A sauce. <laughs> That's Polly. She does not like people in her personal bubble or other animals. So yeah, everybody respects her, which is nice. Um, but she definitely lets her voice be heard. Okay, then we've got half a gallon of milk, that's it. So we are gonna run out of milk, but like I said, I'm not going to the grocery store this week. We'll, we'll be fine <laughs> without milk. We've got just a tiny bit. This one's actually more full. This one's almost gone. Um, our family use this one the most. So we've got a little bit of coffee creamer left, some butter sticks, that's it in that door. And then this door, we've got, this is what Mark likes to put in his coffee when he has coffee. He uses the Lakanto extract drops, monk fruit extract drops. Then we've got our jellies for biscuits or PB&Js, um, some stuff like the kids like to add to hot chocolate or coffee. Um, I have specific decaf pods for them if they want coffee. Um, they're not really in a coffee kick right now. They're more hot chocolate. And then we've got all the fun. We had a big hot cocoa bar um, Thanksgiving morning. So I found some fun flavors at Target and picked those up for all the kids to have. But we've got like a normal, a hot cocoa, a salted caramel, and a peppermint. They do have a gingerbread one too, um, but I didn't pick that one up. So maybe I'll do that one next time. All right, and then inside the fridge, it's actually, it was pretty packed <laughs> at the beginning of last week after I did all the grocery shopping. But as far as um, how I have it organized, this is kind of like meats and cheeses. Oh, hold on, let me, let me close the fridge. So we are completely out of sandwich meat. I need to pull some hot dog buns out of the freezer or actually the kids can use a tortilla with a hot dog. We'll do that one day for lunch, like a wrap, a hot dog and cheese wrapped up in their tortilla. We've got some sausage sticks left there. And then as far as cheese, we have some sliced cheese, a block of cheese that I can shred. These are leftover cinnamon rolls. We'll probably try to finish those off soon because I made those Thursday more last Thursday morning. And then we've got bread and eggs. So I've got tortillas some different sandwich loaves in here, bagels, and then here's the eggs that I keep in the fridge. And then down here are just some more like condiments and stuff. So we've got some orange juice, salad dressings, salsa, pickles. We've got some more pickles, relish, um, cream, whipped, cream, whipped cream cheese for the bagels, apple butter. We like to put those on bis this on biscuits as well. I'm just gonna let that ding for a minute. And then cottage cheese for snacking on. Uh, as far as fruit, we got some figs <laughs> in here. This is our fruit drawer. And then this is our veggie drawer. We do have the mini cucumbers, which will be nice for lunches this week. We've got a head of lettuce, so if I wanted to like 
just throw together a quick easy salad. I could go on the side of dinner. I might do that for tonight, what we're having tonight for dinner. And then all these bags are just have a little bit of veggies left in them from the veggie tray I made for Thanksgiving. So we've got some peppers, some sugar snap peas, like the tiniest bit of broccoli, like most of the bags look like this. So just the tiniest bit of everything. Um, we've got some, see a little bit of carrots. So I might make like a, a little salad to go with dinner tonight. Okay, and then in this one, we do have apples and oranges. So we are good on fruit. We'll just eat the apples and oranges for this week. We've got some little yogurts here. This is the cheese advent calendar that I got from Sam's a while ago. I just went ahead and opened it up some work and I could just snack on them. We're not gonna use it as an advent calendar. I've got a couple of sticks of cheese here for snacking on and that is it as far as this refrigerator. All right, normally I have some kind of baked good in here, but it is empty. However, I do have these items sitting out. So I'm gonna make two batches of banana muffins. Um, one of them I'll keep here at the house for us to snack on. The other one I'm gonna send in to, with Mark to work. I'm gonna roast up some chestnuts today. This is like either today or tomorrow. And then I never made the spicy crackers. So I'm gonna make some spicy crackers for snacking on. And then over here on this side, Got my coffee that I'm still working on. And then this little tray normally has fruit, veggies on, like avocados, tomatoes. The bananas were over here before I moved them over. Um, just various snacking stuff. So if the kids are hungry, they know this is a free for all any time of the day. If they're hungry, they can always grab something off of here to eat. And all we have is one pomegranate and three little tomatoes. <laughs> so uh, that will definitely be cleared out by the end of this week. All right, last but not least into the pantry and I am not gonna go over every little thing, um, but this is what we've got going on. So at the top is all various flours, oils, um, just extra stuff for baking. I've got some oats, brown sugar, chocolate chips. Um, down there at the end is like salt and pepper, different salt and peppers. And then we've got, this little section is kind of like Mark's section. So his little sipping broths and stuff that he can do for lunch. Then we've got just in a various container of items, some oils, um, barbecue sauce, extra salsa, that kind of thing. Then we've got cans. So we've got some refried beans, black eyed peas, chickpeas. We've got some black beans, uh, various like we've got coconut oil, tomato paste, pork and beans, that kind of thing. And then I actually recently decluttered this pantry well before we had family come in so that's going to be an upcoming video where I show like the laundry room no not the laundry room fridge the kitchen fridge and freezer and then the pantry that I completely just cleaned out and everything like that so that's going to be an upcoming video but here I had a ton of seasonings just everywhere and I made myself just keep what I could fit right here and that and I like added this on I was trying to just stay here but I couldn't so I added this on so we've just got lots of seasonings and mixes and stuff like that same with right here we've got all of these and then this I can try to link if I remember I think it's already I have an Amazon link in the description box and this should be in that link it's not organized or anything I know I should do better um, maybe when I have time I'll sit down and organize my Amazon store but I did get this off of Amazon and it's awesome because it just holds all these spices and you can just pull the drawer out and sit it like that so you can see the spices but I've got all of these here and I don't know if they had various sizes I just got the one that could fit you know on my shelf so it's three shelves here that you can pull out then this is kind of like extra stuff, not just for baking, but like, you know, croutons, sunflower seeds. We use those on salads. I've got some coconut flakes, some slivered almonds. I like to roast the, or not roast these, but put these in a skillet with garlic, butter, and green beans. And that's a yummy side. Uh, cranberries, some sliced almonds back there. Then we've got our peanut butter, honey, like dippy stuff here. Nutella, this Doritos dip. We've actually had this for a really long time. Um, but it's good until January. So Bryce wanted that and then just never ate it. So I need to remind him that that's there. Uh, this is kind of like the kids and Mark. So he likes to put hot sauce on a lot of different stuff. So he's got his sriracha and Tabasco. We've got some tahini, And then this is what the girls, actually I'll probably have to buy. Yeah, this one's almost empty, but 
These are two things the girls like to put in their smoothies. We've got just a green super food blend and some powdered peanut butter. More cans over here. I did have them all on one, but the shelf looks like it's sagging a little. So I kind of tried to spread out the heavy items, but we've got SpaghettiOs, chili, soup, corn, baked beans. That's a pizza sauce back there. Um, some pineapple, some enchilada sauce, all the things. This is all rice. We've got lots of pumpkin. I don't know what I was thinking buying all that pumpkin, um, but I'm gonna make some pumpkin pies um, just for fun and probably for Christmas dinner. We're hosting Christmas dinner. Okay, and then we're getting into some of the snacky items. So we've got various nuts all in here, some dried figs, some beef jerky. That's all nuts, nuts, nuts. Got some crackers. Um, we've got mac and cheese, one little lone ramen. Normally we have a ton of ramen. Then we've got some gravy butter chicken curry sauce, and some Alfredo. We're actually out of spaghetti sauce. I used my last two jars for lasagna. All right, then um, we've got some pear slices. I'll probably snack on these with the cottage cheese this week. We've got just some seasoning packets back there. This is all my pasta, lots of spaghetti. We've got some bow tie, half a bag of bow tie. And then I want to make this chicken broccoli pasta dish. Um, like a copycat dish from Olive Garden. I just have yet to put it on the menu. So that's what that's for. Normally I have potatoes and onions down here. I've got two onions, no potatoes. That's for the dogs. And then more treats or snacky items. We've got some chili cheese burritos, coconut rolls. These are the, what are they called? Brownie fins or something? What are these called, Rose, do you remember? Brownie brittle. Brownie brittle, yep, she knows. This is brownie brittle. She's in the kitchen doing her schoolwork right now. Then we've got just a half a bag of the Tostito scoops and some graham crackers here. It's just dog and cat food on the bottom here. That's all dog and cat food. And then that's not it, you guys. My pantry is actually, it goes like under our stairs. So it seems big, but it, it was a pain for me to figure out how to organize it. <laughs> So it does go back back there. Um, this is like another kind of area that the kids just go to for snacks and for lunchtime and stuff. So it's getting pretty bare. We've got some seaweed here. Pearl likes that. We've got some little peanut butter and chocolate stick dippers there. The fig bars you can see are not a fan favorite. Those have been around for a little while. Pearl and I are mainly the only ones who eat those. As far as chips, all those chips that I bought, I got, I got two packs of 18, I think. Um, we got two bags left. <laughs> I knew that was going to go with all the extra kids in the house. And then um, the Quaker Rice crisps, crisps that I like. There's still plenty of those. We've got some boba drink packets there in the bottom. And then all the way in the back is kind of like our extras. So I have a drink dispenser that I use just for get-togethers. Extra waters that we like to have on hand. We've got paper towels right there. And then trash bags for the kitchen, paper plates we use for like breakfast and lunch mainly. We fix that and dinner we use real plates. Then this is like the breakfast aisle only because these cereal containers are too big to fit on the built-in shelves. So I've got breakfast here. We have cereal, the fun easy hash browns, syrup, and then I have some stuff back there for the holiday season that I put away. Um, this is all like the sweet snacky stuff. So we've got some mints, leftover Halloween candy. These are all the caramels that I've been picking up that Mark and I like. So this is like his and I stash. And then we have some lemon cookies in here. Um, but then my mom sent me a bunch of yummy goodies, like this big box of yummy goodies from this company, Gilbert Pecan Company. So we've got some taffy, some peanut brittle, We've got, what's in here? Oh, sugar pecans. We actually had two other bags in there too, but those are already gone. Um, let's see, that's it for food. How can I show you this one? Let me go this way. Okay, as far as this section in the pantry, this is like my overstock. So I already have one of everything that's over here somewhere else that's easy to grab. So this is extra. So like I already have a 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's, that's a backup. Same with like flour, rice, sugar. I already have that somewhere. That's all back up. Um, these are my normal cooking oils and vinegars. So I've got those right there, these right here, and then more baking stuff 
right here. We've got like yeast and baking soda, baking powder, cocoa powder, that kind of thing. Then we've got sprinkles galore. <laughs> I had to make that nice and easy for kids to reach for their hot cocoa and stuff. And then more like sweet baking. So I've got all the dyes in here. The extracts, it's kind of a mess because I've been using it and I've just been throwing everything back in. Let's see, we've got like caramel dipping and marshmallows. These are things that I have plans for. I might actually go ahead and make this too. I'm going to pull that out. What's the date on that bad boy? Oh, it's February 2025, but I'm going to go ahead and make this. Also, just doing some quick, easy meal prep for this week. All right, then we've got beer bread mixes. I definitely do not need to pick up another beer bread mix because I've had these forever and I just never make them. <laughs> so I've got that going on here. Um, and then like the extra Halloween candy. So, oh, that's right. This was the chocolate, the extra chocolate from Halloween. And then this is the candy. So these are all the candies from Halloween. And I ordered a bunch of these months ago off of Amazon, these little Smarty Lollipops. The kids like those. Just the little sweets hiding there. And then this one's kind of like a hodgepodge of stuff. Oh, this is more stuff that came in from the Gilbert Pecan Company that my mom ordered us. And we've got little protein bars that Mark and I eat every now and then. Some chocolate I brought back from Mexico when I was on the cruise. And then I actually should put these little popcorn bags. There's just two of them. Yeah, I'm gonna put these over here so the kids have a little extra treat right there okay and then the bottom is overflow on dog food we got the treats that i have a container of over there in the pantry on the built-in shelves and then their wet canned food is right there which i keep in that basket right there which i do need to fill that up by the end of this week but that's everything that I've got kind of tucked away. Semi-organized, just like I said, the best I can with the space, but it makes sense for us. Everybody kind of knows where everything is here in this pantry. All right, here is our meals for this week. If my camera will focus, I need to mess with the settings. I feel like it's been blurry in the last few videos. It's gotten worse. I kind of just threw together the meals for this week and they are not in order either. So. Um, I'm just gonna pick and choose which ones like have the most fresh stuff and we'll start with those and work our way down So we've got fried rice orange chicken egg rolls. Those are all out of the freezer <laughs> in the garage um, Same thing here. I'm gonna do cod and shrimp because some of my kids don't like fish But some do like shrimp so we're gonna do a little bit of both of those the onion rings and I just wrote cob corn then we're gonna do butter chicken which is just using some chicken from the freezer, that butter chicken cur curry sauce um, over rice. I like to serve that over rice with naan bread. And then we've got that um, palak paneer. I don't know if I said that right, but that is like that green cheesy sauce. It's just a, a small little box that's in the freezer, um, like a dip. So we'll use the naan with that to dip in there. Thursday, we're having pizza. We've got a pizza truck coming to our neighborhood it's like every not every thursday but most thursdays some kind of food truck comes and this week i know the kids are gonna really enjoy that so i went ahead and put that for thursday all the other meals are just gonna kind of be whenever then we're gonna have sausage french fries regular corn not corn on the cob and then probably the um what kind of beans do we have in there the baked beans we have a big can of baked beans so i'll just pull that out and we're just We'll have that for dinner one night. Um, I've got, these are the two that we're gonna have probably Monday and Tuesday because I already have the meat out in the fridge. So I'm doing an Instant Pot beef, rice, and veggie meal. I'm going, I'm gonna be filming that. And then we're just gonna have baguettes on the side. And then we're gonna have steak one night. Bryce and Mark really like steak. So we're gonna have that one night, probably Tuesday, um, with a corn casserole that I'm gonna make in the Instant Pot. I'll probably pull out that breaded okra as an extra little veggie. And then I'm gonna make some mac and cheese because Rose does not like steak. So she's gonna have mac and cheese, okra, corn casserole, maybe like one piece of okra actually. She doesn't really like okra either. <laughs> but anyway, um, the kids kind of pick and choose. I try, to, I try to put like a variety of things on here this week, but those are the meals that I've got planned. All right, so that is just a semi-quick walkthrough on what we've got on hand right now. Some dinner meals that I've got 
planned for this week to utilize what we have on hand. Like I said, no grocery haul this week. So it's gonna be this video and then I'm hoping to finish out. I've got two different Pop-Tarts that I'm going to be making. So I'm gonna make some Pop-Tarts today. I also have a little bit, like there's my stash for like a little bit of meal prep. I might do some hard boiled eggs also. The kids really enjoy those just as extra little snacks and stuff to have on hand for this week. But I'm not filming that. I just wanted to share what I had on hand or what I had planned for meal prep. Not every week do I do meal prep, but some days I'll pull out a few things to do, especially when we have like fruit that I, that I need to use or something like that. So I've got that for everybody for this week. Um, but you guys should see a Pop-Tart recipe video coming up and then I'm working on an Instant Pot one as well. But um, you guys will probably see that later on in the week. But like I said, I hope you guys had a great week last week um, if you celebrated Thanksgiving. But regardless, I hope you had a great week and weekend. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today so far. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy this type of video. Subscribe if you are new and I will see you in the next one. Bye.